Gurkha Archiv, 1887, in Torpedo. Stay tuned. Welcome to Cigar Perspective. I am David, and today we are going to take a look at the Gurkha Archiv, 1887, in Torpedo, the 6.5 by 52. There is a limited amount of these made. I'll get into that in a little bit. But first, let's get some of the aromas and see how it develops. It's kind of an interesting, it's like uh, outdoor spice, kind of like when you're by the lake, like be, being at the beach by the lake, like a lake water manure kind of aroma. Very interesting. So it's like manure, lake water, beach, outdoor spice aroma. Very interesting. All right, let's get it cut up, introduce the flame, and see how it develops today. All right, so right off the bat here, sort of not super open draw like I'm used to on a lot of them recently. A little bit tight, not too bad. Pretty decent amount of smoke output. I got it a little bit too crooked today, I think, but that's all right. It'll be fine. But right off the bat, a little bit of spice, definitely nutty and very earthy right in the beginning. Pretty good draw, good smoke though. The draw is a little tight, but good smoke output for having a little bit of a tighter draw. But definitely a lot of earth right in the beginning. And then it's definitely very nutty as well. A little bit of wood, sort of like a little bit of oak. So right off the bat, nutty, earthy, and a little bit of oak wood there. Starting off good though. Now this is a 90 rated cigar. There are, it is limited. There was only a thousand boxes of the torpedo made. So it's not just endless ones of these. Kind of interesting. Um, the wrapper is Connecticut Maduro, six year aged. The binder is Cameroon and the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican. Medium body right off the bat. But, great start. Let's see how it develops and I will be back in a little bit. Alright, so we are just a little bit over a third of the way in. Some very notable changes right off the bat here. So, definitely an uptick in strength going to full body right into the first third. I do not often feel the strength of a cigar. I am pretty often smoke cigars every day. Um... I very rarely ever get lightheaded or feel the strength even after a whole cigar with a lot of strong cigars. I'm just a little over a third of the way in and just getting a little bit lightheaded which is something I'm really not used to. So definitely an uptick in strength right off the bat. And then also along with that earth nuttiness and there's some rich coffee and rich tobacco coming into play right now as well so it's a very interesting start with this cigar not what i was expecting still sort of a tight draw very good burn though no problems with the burn at all pretty decent smoke output could be a little bit more but that's just because i'm thinking the tight draw is not quite Letting it burn is quite as good as, or getting the smoke quite as good as it could.
but very nutty, earthy, oaky, and now the rich coffee and the rich tobacco coming in with full body, full strength. Not quite a long finish on the end, probably. It's more of a medium finish. It doesn't hold, it holds a little bit after you exhale, but not real long. But great start. So far, very good cigar. Can't wait to see how it further develops. I will be back with any notable changes or a little bit past the halfway point. All right, so we are back just about the halfway point here. Not too much changes, but a little bit going on. The strength is still there. Definitely full strength cigar. Um, still uh, the nuttiness, a little bit of earth. Definitely the wood. Um, the rich tobacco is still there. The coffee was there for a little bit, sort of fading out, but now there's pepper coming in pretty strong. It's a very warm, like a black pepper that just really hits the palate pretty hard right at the halfway point. Draw is still pretty tight. It's like medium, not open, but not real extreme tight either, but not the easiest to draw through. Pretty good smoke output though, very good burn. The ash holds on pretty good, flakes off a little, but overall, it's been a good cigar so far. The smoke is a little bit, it's one of those cigars that has more of a warm smoke as well, kind of warm. I think the more dominant with this cigar though is definitely the nuttiness coming through. The earth and the nuttiness really are more dominant and then you have the oak and the richness, the tobacco richness and then the coffee came in real rich for a few moments there but sort of faded out. Now it's more of a lighter coffee note in there. But again, really not what I was expecting out of this cigar. I'm actually quite surprised. But it's been interesting so far. Can't wait to see how it finishes. So we'll be back with the finish. All right, so we are finishing up this cigar here. Just getting down just past probably the final third. This was a pretty good sized torpedo. So before I get into it, I just need to say that this is a very full strength cigar. If you are not used to smoking a very strong cigar, you will likely get sick from this one. I had lightheaded feelings a third of the way in. By halfway, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to finish it. And now down to this final third, I definitely am feeling it. So, and I do not get lightheaded. I rarely feel cigars. I do have some stomach problems and once in a while a strong cigar will hit my stomach pretty hard, but for it to hit me lightheaded in the first third and my stomach and make me feel this much strength, this is a definitely a strong, strong cigar. So if you're not used to a big nicotine hit from almost the beginning, this definitely will not be the cigar for you. I mean, it's great, it's nutty, it's earthy, it has wood, uh, coffee, rich tobacco, pepper. I mean, there's so many good notes. It's very enjoyable, but it's very, very strong. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna give it a try that you might run into one of the strongest cigars you may have ever smoked with the Gurkha Archive 1887. But it's burned great this entire time. Little bit of a tight draw. Um, pretty good smoke output. There has been a few points where it wasn't the best, but overall good smoke output, good draw. Well, pretty good draw, I should say. Little tight, but great burn. A lot of good notes.
And it's not a super strong pepper finish either, like I was kind of expecting when it transitioned more to pepper. Still a lot of nuttiness, still earth, still wood. Definitely still slight coffee in there. The rich tobacco is still there, but then there's that pepper. The smoke is a little bit warmer though, so you do have to be prepared for that as well. But the ash holds on. Flakes a little, but holds on pretty good. But I do recommend this to someone who, or to the people who smoke more cigars or maybe more used to more of a nicotine hit. If you're not used to it, this cigar may knock you back. So I'm gonna give this cigar a seven out of 10. It was very enjoyable, but very strong. You can see my hands kind of shaking a little bit there. It is definitely strong. I am not used to, I mean, and I smoke strong cigars a lot, but this thing is strong. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. I did enjoy it. Good cigar overall, just very strong. Gonna recommend it to more of a seasoned smoker, unless you are a newer smoker that can handle a pretty big nicotine hit from the beginning, basically. But I hope you enjoyed, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I had fun. I've never had this cigar. It surprised me in many ways. I was not expecting a lot that happened with this. So it was a great review. Until next time, be safe and have a great day.